Yeah, you would have thought it was uh, tactical as Douthwaite is in to bowl and that's uh, allowed to go through outside off stump by the Hampshire skipper. Leisure centre end and bowls and Gubbins will get off the mark with four runs driven through the covers. It's a shortish boundary on this pavilion side of the field. Bowl to Brown for the first time and bowls him. Dan Douthwaite has the breakthrough. Hampshire 17 for one in the fifth. Dalswaite bowls oh. big appeal for LBW must yes. get close it's given pressed on the back foot didn't get much bounce and Dalswaite has a second wicket in his opening spell pressed has gone for Joe Cook bowls and Donald drives to mid off takes a quick single um, Carlson hits gone. he's out Donald has run himself out it's a terrible run Kieran Carlson yeah. with a direct hit, 48 for three. Donald run out for seven. He's golfing. And he bowls. Oh, appeal for LBW. Huge age out. It looked a very good appeal. And Middleton, you've got to go, lad. You don't hang about and look at the Emperor. Sooner than he actually is. Here's Sosodia to begin a new over. And that's nudged up to long on by Nick Gubbins. And that'll be his 50 for the Hampshire captain. Coming off. 93 balls, I believe, with five fours. As Albert pushes at that one, is caught behind. Wheel has a wicket, five down. Albert's useful attempt to rebuild is over. After a partnership of 45 with his skipper, Nick Gubbins. Wheel has gone, caught Cook, bowled Wheel. As uh, Carlson is round the wicket to the left-handed. Gubbins who comes down and... Uh, has hit that could be out yes it is caught on the mid wicket boundary well bowled Carlson that's a good wicket to get uh, as uh, Gubbins after playing a superb innings of 93 240 well that'll be close as Sisodia mm. sees the reverse coming out from Barker and uh, it didn't look too good he was trapped leg before 176 for 7 Gorvin in once more and he's caught behind is he carry yes flashed at one outside the off stump and uh, lost his balance whilst doing so and there was half a chance of a stumping he kept his foot in the ground but leisure end comes in and slower ball which is driven up to long off for a single and that's the 50 there and generous applause from this crowd and uh, it's uh, a good innings played there by Ian Holland. Came on, came in to join his captain and things weren't going too well, but uh, he's rescued. In comes Wheel and bowls to him and he's pulled that big, big shot. That's cleared everything over the pavilion for six. Dathway bowls shorter. Holland, has he got all of this? Yes, he yes. has. That's hitting the marquee. That's through the marquee, I think. And onto the rugby pitch. Six for Ian Holland. Final ball of the innings. Dathway over the wicket. Bowls full. Hit up towards Long On. They might think about coming back for a second here. They will come back for a second. It'll be an easy run out at the non-striker's end. So they only come through for one in the end. John Turner is run out for 12. And Hampshire end on 228 for 8. Bowls and this is a nice looking shot, a lovely shot, and that goes for four through extra cover. He's a very, very attacking player by nature, young Bevan. Not exactly regulars in the Hampshire side, as that's flashed outside the off stump. Has he got an edge on it? Yes, Ian Holland celebrates, and Rob White puts his finger up. Where the leisure centre is situated, and this time Ingrams drives beautifully and gets four through extra cover. And it's a no, no, she's, uh, I thought she's taking in a no ball, it's a f boundary. Shot. Sorry, it's starting you over for me and Holland. It's Mill Combs, isn't it? Driven through the offside for four. That's a lovely looking shot to the right of Nick Gubbins. Here he is coming in. Bowls at pace. Oh, that's gone. Into the pavilion. My word. It, and it hits the wall of the pavilion. A lovely pickup shot. Curry bowls and Bevan smashes that one towards mid wickets. Has that just cleared the ropes? The spectators say it has. Which is sad. Ingram pulls, maybe caught. No, he's cleared the field uh, here at Backward Square. 
and it's gone for six. Albert making good ground round the boundary in front of us. Bevan here, here he is over the wicket, and Bevan pulling that for six. Straight into the pavilion, and what a way to go to his maiden list day 50 for Glamorgan. Shakes hands with Colin Ingram, and the crowd here applaud, and what a way to get to it. In comes Campbell, goes, and that's going over the pavilion for six more. Picked it off his legs. I didn't think he really made it, for my word. Here he is coming round the wicket to the left handed Colin Ingram, who's yeah. chipping that in the air. Safe Chance of a chat catch? No. In between the fielders at mid on, mid off, and long on, it was Scott Curry who had to backtrack and go slightly to his left hand side. And in truth, that was always just out of his grasp, and he was never. Oh. oh, I thought it might. This has gone over the pavilion. Got into it. Absolute. As in comes Gubbins, bold, quicker delivery, tapped away on the onside for a single. That is Colin Ingram, who's been uh, batting so well in this uh, competition. Reaches his 50. He's played second fiddle, and uh, as you say, not many people do that to Colin Ingram. Here's the next ball, and here it comes. It's going to reach his 100 with a magnificent six, which has cleared our tent at mid-wicket. And Tom Bevan raises his bat, he raises his cap, and the crowd raised to this young man, 22 years of age. And the uh, fielders, the Hampshire fielders, they all applaud him, which is a very sporting gesture, as Tom Bevan goes to 101, 163 for one. On bowls and Bevan smashes another one over long on. Six. That's gone all the way for six. And Tom Bevan is a young man in a hurry. He is destroying this Hampshire attack. Bowls to Bevan. Bevan has hit this miles and miles. And it's gone sailing into the Hampshire tent over there to our right. Here it's Cody Bowles. Oh, here he goes. Six. Oh dear, Ian oh. Holland on the boundary, got, got the ball and then let it go through his hands. Curry's in, bowls. Here's another one. No, he's going to be caught. Just back would have square on the onside and that wonderful, wonderful innings of Tom Bevan. Here's the next ball. Carlson cuts hard and it's uh, caught at backward point. It's, uh, Carlson misses out and another wicket falls, says he, thinking. People might think there's six or seven gone, that's the third. In comes the next ball, that's hit up towards deep extra cover, but it'll be stopped, it's inside the boundary. And now it's just two. 226 for three, 78 to uh, Colin Ingram.